My name is Matthew Gibson. I'm a grain harvest manager who has been working with combines for seven years. As newly hired combine operators, it is important that you know what safety precautions must be taken when working on combines for your own safety. I'm sure some of you are thinking, seven years isn't very long. How do you have the qualifications to be teaching us this stuff? Well, I'm, sh I'm sh you guys will soon come to realize that in your first year, you learn, you learn a lot. So within your first seven years, you see almost everything you possibly can with grain combines. My goal today is to properly train you in safety when working on a grain combine. You will be able to know the proper safety procedures when working on the header, the rotor, the counter chopper knives, and the engine, as well as some other general safety procedures for the grain combine. The first and most important safety procedure when working on the combine is to completely turn the combine off and pull the key out of the ignition. This might seem like a no-brainer to some of you, but there are times when it when you're working and you'll think, oh, well, this will be two seconds. Like when a sickle or when a knife breaks on your header, you'll think, oh, this will take two seconds. I'll just go down there and turn it off or and fix it. Because you don't want to turn this machine off and then when you turn it back on, have to reset your settings. But every once in a while, every, like every blue moon, something may happen. For instance, like a, the electrical wire might short out or there might be a little kit up in the and the combine with you and if that button somehow gets pressed you, it can chop your fingers off very easily so just always make sure you shut it off when you're working up in the engine sometimes you have to wrap your body around some belts and if those belts were to turn on it'd cut your body in half before you knew it and then just there's all there's things all over the combine that can that could potentially really hurt you like for, in the grain auger, or if you're working up in the grain bin there's a bunch of augers so for your safety just always make sure that you have the combine turned off when working on it. Another thing is try to always wear tight fitting clothes. There's some spots where it'd be pretty easy for clothes to get caught and even though it might not be a huge deal but if it, every once in a while you never know something could be happening and it could t pull you into something and rip a limb off so make sure you always have your clothes that are tight and no matter what you're doing always wear safety glasses. You are working with sharp knives um, potentially some hot liquids with moving belts. So if one of those was to break and it'd come back and hit your eye, it could really hurt your eyesight, if not make you lose your sight. So always wear it. And not only that, you're working with grain dust. Grain dust is very bad. It is not fun on your eyes. So it just helps keep the grain dust out of your eyes. When working on the header, it's important you are always wearing gloves. So even though your combine might be completely shut off, those knives are really sharp, even though they aren't moving. So if you nick your finger on it, it could make you bleeding. So just having those gloves on really helps keep you keep your hands safe. There are a lot of little belts, and um, the header reel can really hurt your fingers on the header. So make sure that you just always have your gloves on. There are a few different things to be cautious about when working on the rotor. The rotor is right below, or is right in the middle of the machine. It's what separates your the head of the gr grain from the uh, straw. So due to this, it moves at speeds of over a thousand RPMs. Uh, this, because of this, it takes a minute, to, it takes a while to sh turn off. Um, and there have been many times where I've seen people who have tried to uh, take the guard, there's a guard around it, so people have been trying to take the guard off while the rotor's still moving. Don't do that. Make sure the rotor comes to a complete stop before you start taking off the guard. Because if you do, somehow get a glove caught in there or something or a finger, it can really hurt you, maybe rip your finger off, so just wait till it's done. And when you're working on the rotor, always use two come-alongs to hold the guard up. One come-along, if that, if you only have one come-along and it breaks, and it can land, potentially land on your hand or on your fingers, it could either cut them off or um, smash your hand up, because it's pretty heavy. If there's two come-alongs and one breaks, then there's still that one for safety precautions. Uh, the counter chopper knives are very sharp, so when you're wearing, so when you're working on them, make sure you're always wearing gloves. The counter chopper knives are located near the back of the machine, right behind the rotor. These, this chops up the straw and spits it out the back. So because of this, it is on a, it's on a cylinder, and with the knives on the outside, and it moves at a very fast speed. There should always be two people working on these at a time, because if there is ever any safety. Because of this, the cylinder continues to move, and uh, 
because one person should be there to hold the cylinder while the other that should be there to fix the blade the blades that are on the cylinder if there is only one of you guys you should put a bungee cord or some type of rope around it and if you were able to do that uh, it'll stop it from moving and it could keep you guys from cutting up your arms cutting up your hands and it's just safer for everybody the engine is on the top of the combine and because of this it can get very hot and so, and so there's a couple precautions you need to take while working on it the engine is on the top of the combine so it gets a lot of direct sunlight and not only that you're working in july and august which are two of the hottest months of the whole year and this is our big machines they're make their work putting a lot of engine power so these are pretty hot so don't ever work on a combine until let it cool down for a minute um, second is always wear, you always need to wear long sleeve and pants. And so even if it's a hundred degrees outside and you only have a t-shirt, throw your sweatshirt on because we have, there's been people who have had to go to the hospital for third degree burns or you'll blister really bad. So just always wear, always wear a long sleeve just in case and always make sure that you let it cool down. Um, the, since the engine is on top of the machine, there are railings around the whole side, except where the ladder to the top is. So since there's a ladder to the top, there's no rail, you need to make sure you put a chain or something to block it. So if you were to be working on something and fell backwards, you wouldn't trip and fall off because if you, that's a long fall. You don't want to seriously hurt yourself. The other thing is when you, if sometimes you can't access the, uh, the engine from the back, so you need to take a ladder and put it on the side. If you do this, make sure it's on something sturdy, such as the, uh, gas tank because if it was leaning up against some pipes there's a chance that those pipes could break and if they do you would not only fall but whatever is in those pipes could uh, spill on you and burn you really bad in conclusion there are many different areas of the combine where someone can get hurt if proper safety procedures are not followed i know some of you may think that some of these procedures are over the top but the reason that they have these procedures is because everyone because these situations have occurred. Today you have learned the proper safety procedures while working on different parts of the combine. You should know the proper safety procedures while working on the header, the rotor, the counter chopper knives, and the engine, as well as some other general safety procedures. If we all follow these procedures, we will have a safe and good harvest. Thank you.